Hey ladies, uh, today I'm doing um, the second video of my basic series. Now I've had a lot of questions um, from different users about how, um, how to apply tips, anything tip related. So today I'm going to be showing you guys two things, I guess you could call this my tips, tips and tricks. Uh, video. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys uh, how I apply tips uh, to get them to stick to the nail very well. And the second is different shapes you can get without using forms by using just a regular square tip. Now today I'm just going to be gluing these on and I'll show you. I'm going to be gluing on these white tips and I will, um, I'm not going to be doing the acrylic process, that will be another video, um, but I'm going to do the acrylic process from top to bottom, and then I've got one other video I'm planning on doing um, to release in my basic series, maybe two more. But um, anyway, so this is going to be my tips and tricks. Now the first thing you're going to do, um, you're going to prep the nail um, as normal. Now to save time, what I normally do is I normally buff this and excuse this um, file, I use this for filming, but um, I use a 100 um, by 180 grit um, file to gently file the nail, or buff it rather, and this will just uh, take off that natural shine from the nail bed that you need to have off before you apply your acrylic. Now for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and use my e-file. I would not do this on a natural nail. I know some people do. I personally don't um, just in fear, I guess, of um, making the natural nail too thin. So, But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you guys, um, or show you, prep these uh, three nails. This one's already prepped um, to get the natural shine off, which will help adhesion. And definitely, if you are using an e-file to, um, to prep the, the nail, you definitely would not have it on this high. But since it's plastic and she doesn't care, I'm going to go ahead and do it with my e-file. The nail bed has been buffed, so the it is no longer shiny. There's a few spots, but that's all right. This is just <clears throat> for example. So um, after this, uh, what I would do normally is um, I would use my dehydrator. Now this is IBD's nail prep, and all you do is just spray it. You don't have to do this on obviously a fake hand, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now what this does is it completely dries out the nail bed. This changes the pH, which helps with an adhesion. Um, this does make the nail, the natural nail anyway, chalky white. Now I do this before I apply tips. Some people do after, but I prefer to do before. Um, it, it, to me, it just helps with adhesion. Um, and then the next thing that I do before I apply the tip, now I'm going to show you guys how I apply them and then the next three nails I will show you examples of different shapes you could get. This is what I use after I dehydrate but before I apply the, the nail tip. This is a uh, hurry up nail glue dryer. Now all you need to do for this, and this dries it instantly so you got to be kind of quick um, with applying it. You're just going to squirt it on the nail beds, just very lightly. You don't need too much, and the thing lasts forever. I used from Nail Bliss Pro Wonder Bond. This is a brush on gel glue. I, per I prefer this over the liquid drops. I just feel like I have more control with this. Now I'm going to select my tip, and this I'm doing white. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that from side to side it matches up. It's kind of hard to see completely, but I've already sized this tip. Obviously, one that would be too small would be something like this. 
something that is too big would look something like this. You want it to fit completely from nail or from sidewall to sidewall without having any overlap and obviously no gaps. Now these ones do not have wells, so this may be a little bit tricky. It works essentially the same. The wells just help you to um, to know how far to place it down. It also holds your glue. So I'm going to apply a very small amount of glue. What I do is I just kind of wipe my brush off. And then once there's a dab of glue in there, I go from side to side completely. You don't want too much glue because if you get it makes more it would make sense to add more glue to get a better hold. But really what you're doing is you're creating a barrier basically between your nail and this which will make a gap and will make it one not as not as um, appealing obviously especially if you're doing clear um, over a white but um, it, it will also leave a barrier which will in fact um, break down over time so what I do is I apply this at a 45 degree angle and I slide it down one time this gets some of the glue off of the nail or onto the nail bed and off of my tip. So once I have this, I bring it down about 45 degree angle, and then if you have a well, it will snap, and then I place flat down. Now from here, sometimes these plastic tips on these plastic nail beds take a bit longer, but once you have it down, you will hold it until it is dry. Now the nail glue dryer, I think I waited too long before I placed the nail on, but uh, normally it's, it's immediate. So very important, you press those corners down. And make sure it's dry. If, if you do have the hurry up glue dryer, what I do is I go ahead and hit it with another spray. And if there's any lifting on the corners, for whatever reason, maybe the angle was a bit different or what have you, I just put a dab of glue on each side and I do file this down on the uh, file it down a little bit onto the natural nail to make sure there's not as much glue on there. And then here I hit it one more time. And this is pretty much dry. I put a lot of glue on that side, the other side is dry. But this is how I apply nail tips. I'm able to see from side to side, it's looking good. Everything is is um, straight and it goes from side to side. Now from here, I take my file, I take it to the side wall of each nail, hold the nail firmly, I do protect the cuticles, and I just file it straight out. Now if there's any glue or if you need to blend, I normally blend with a clear tip. I'm just going to gently file down. Another trick to use if you are blending, if you're having some problems, maybe you still see that definitive line, especially if you're extending your nail bed. Um, what I do is I take a tiny dab of acetone and I place it right there on that line. Let it sit for a couple seconds. Maybe a Q-tip actually would even work. Hold it down for just a second and uh, that will kind of melt the plastic. It won't harm you, but it will um, start to melt the plastic to make it a little bit easier to blend. And then of course you would buff it slightly. Try not to touch the natural nail too much. And you are almost ready for application. From here you're going to of course buff off the natural shine of the tip. It really doesn't matter because once you put acrylic on it will be shiny again, so no worries. I'm going to buff it till it's no longer shiny. Now, um, to cut the tip, I, I have a uh, tip cutter. Um, I normally put the blade towards me so I can see how far I am cutting. You're going to want to cut this flat depending on the length that you want. I'm just going to cut just as an example. And from here, you're able to continue to shape. Now, if you want to do a square nail, you would go straight across, straight. If you want to do um, square.
swivel, you're going to tilt it just a little bit and tilt those so you kind of get more of the corners. And if you want oval, you're going to go completely underneath. But I'm going to go ahead and do square. So that's, um, that's how you apply the tip and start to shape it for application. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the rest of these three tips and show you how to do um, different shapes of, um, of nails by using the plastic square tips. Be right back. Alright guys, so I am back um, and I'll be showing you guys on these two tips. I will be showing you guys how to change the shape from square. Um, these are rather long and this one's a little shorter so it looks a bit pointier. I'm going to show you guys how to do um, oval and um, also a stiletto or an almond type shape is what I would call it. But um, and all you have to do is use the fingernail clippers. One thing I forgot to mention while filming this nail is that when you are applying a tip of any kind, you're going to want to cut your natural nail as close as you can. So if there's any breakage, you won't rip your natural nail off. If your nail is too long underneath, um, if it does cause a break, it may hurt your natural nail. So what I do is I cut it down as far as I could go. You'll see, excuse the glue, but you will see, you can almost not see my nails, my actual nails underneath. But um, and that's just as a safety type thing, but um, so I'll be showing you guys how to do oval and stiletto so All you do is once you get your tips glued on blended um, And remove the natural shine. I'm not going to worry about this now because I'm not actually doing acrylic on this um, Is you're just going to take your clippers You could also use scissors, I guess, but I prefer clippers because it it glues them more I don't know I guess precise cuts um, and it's equal on each side so you're gonna after you already file down the sides which I did not do I'm gonna make sure that they are straight blend it slightly you know um, then you're gonna take just regular clippers and you're gonna clip to the desired shape so for oval I use the natural curve of the clippers and I'm gonna apply or put this down pretty close to where the tip is applied and I'm just gonna clip it. Do the same thing on the other side. This is a bit difficult because I'm right handed. I'm trying to make sure you guys can still see it. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna y'all watch this and then try to use my left hand. All right, so you're basically going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure, obviously, you're not cutting your skin. All right, and from here, you're able to just take it off. Now, this made not necessarily an oval, but this is where you're going to come in and shape it. Now, you make this the desired length. Sides are both even, and there is an almond shape. For a stiletto, you're gonna follow basically the same process. I'm gonna do a shorter one. I know that's kind of in right now. I usually have the really long ones um, that are more of a traditional stiletto, um, and I normally would do a forms. But um, for this example, I'm just going to do a short one. These are really in right now. They're more of a pointed type of nail. It's not necessarily a stiletto. Everybody's really definitions, depending on the nail tech or what have you, can be a little bit different. This one is a little bit crooked, so I'm going to go ahead on this side and I'm going to trim it one more time. It's better to cut longer and file than it is to cut too short and have to take off the tip completely. So, go ahead and file that into a stiletto. Or pointed, I guess. Not necessarily stiletto. Stiletto, I, in my opinion, is completely different, but 
Some people will argue I make it as make it as pointed. As you lay, just make sure it's even on both sides. And this nail tip is kind of being not very nice to me right now. You guys get the general idea. Idea. Um, this side is a little bit wider. So you don't want that rounded at all. You want it to be flat and you want it to be pointed. Make sure it's not too pointed to where you'd hurt somebody, but you know what I mean? So now for this last example, and this you of course finish shaping, but you're able to um, make this into a stiletto type nail. Now this last example, you will notice I'm using a very tiny um, nail bed. Now this is, I believe, the nail biter one um, from the hand trainer kit, but um, just for this purpose, I'll be showing you guys um, how to turn a large tip that is way too large for the nail into, you ready for this, a duck tip. Now this requires no special tips or anything, it just takes some practice and some extra tips if you have it. So basically what you're going to do is I'm taking a smaller clipper. Now you're going to see when I hold this up to the nail is entirely too big. So what you're going to do is while you have this here, you're going to kind of eyeball where the nail ends on each side. So once it's centered, go ahead and take your clippers and clip it a little bit wider. You're going to clip it as far out as you want. Just make sure that the smile line is going to be as wide as your natural nail. So, actually this is not working too well. I'm not sure what's wrong with that one, but I'm going to go ahead and clip this with this clipper on each side. Very wide. So you'll notice I just clip that corner off. So I'm going to place it, and we'll to see it is quite large. So I'm going to take the other side as well. I'm going to clip that the same fashion. And it's better to clip too wide at first. Yep, see, it's a little bit wide. So, what I'm going to do, um, you'll notice it doesn't go all the way across, or it does, and it kind of overlaps. I'm going to go ahead and take my file, slightly make the smile line area smaller. But I'm going to keep those slanted. Now that slant is what's going to give you that flare. Okay, so this, since it's a wider nail, you're going to have to pinch it slightly. You have to pinch the tip just a little bit, kind of roll it around, just to get you that C curve that will match your natural nail. So it likes to fold right in the middle. Try to avoid that by gently rolling it from side to side to get more of a curve. So you'll notice it's a little bit more curved now. It's easier to work with. So you're going to place it on the nail bed. Alright, so you're going to follow the same process to apply. And apply the glue, or apply the glue dryer, rather. You're going to apply some glue all the way across. And take that nail. 45 degree angle or once, twice, and press it down. Wait for this to dry, which should not take too long, especially because you're using the glue dryer. Make sure it's pressed down. Now for this one, I am going to include, I'm um, just going to go over one time over that smile line with some more glue and on each corner, make sure it is pressed down. I'm going to hit it one more time. So this looks very funny right now, I, I know. But uh, we are going to clip this and we're going to shape this to be a duck tip. So from here, I'm, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and grab my tip cutter. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to cut all the way down to where it starts to flare. 
nothing here. I am able to file it, file the rest of it. And it looks very silly right now, but you're able to take this in the corners and file that to be flared, but still fitting your nail bed. And you're really gonna have to get under there to get this off. All right, so we've got this side, and we're gonna go ahead and do this side the same way. You're really gonna have to get under there be very careful about your finger or your skin, your hyperphalamus area and all of the skin on your finger when you are filing. All right. So you're gonna file it's just in that same angle and keep it flared. Now from here what I do is I, I kind of uncurve the tip a little bit to make it even more flared. There you go. You're going to have to work with it a little bit. It is a bit difficult to do it to all 10 fingers. So just make sure you've got large enough tips for all your fingers before you start this because you may end up having maybe your thumb be not as flared as your pinky. This is why I showed you guys this one because you're able to see a noticeable flare. Um, this is pretty extreme. You're able to um, file it to your liking, of course, and, and make sure that it is right for you. Um, you will flatten it slightly to make sure you do see that flare war you can completely roll it or pinch it rather um if that is you know your choice but if you want that flare since these are pretty flexible i like more flexible tips i just kind of unroll that file it to your liking make sure they're not too sharp and get that angle the same on each side and then of course you're going to buff it Make sure that the, it is flush on either side of your nail or your nail uh, side walls. And there you go. There's a flared nail from a regular square tip. So you guys don't have to buy any special ones. Um, if this is, uh, you know, without using forms, you're able to change, change out the shape of the nail however you'd like it. Um, it's really up to you. And I prefer usually prefer the almond shape myself so if you don't have almond or stiletto uh, nail tips and you don't want to do forms I mean they are a bit difficult especially doing on the, them on yourself um, you could always cut and shape the tips now if you are learning how to do this I'd, pref I'd suggest using a practice hand or practice finger and get used to um, cutting more than less or I'm sorry, less than more, um, just to make sure that it will be even and um, get the hang of it before you start doing it on yourself, especially if using your non-dominant hands, um, because you could cut off too much and it's it you'd have to soak off the tip that you've already glued down and start over. But um, it is helpful, especially if you don't want to spend money on specialty tips. Um, I know they do get quite pricey. I do actually have duct tips that are already, um, they're the medium size and I do have them in clear and white um, in packs of 100 of 10 sizes. So if you guys don't want to do this or hope this does help somebody, but if you would like to just purchase them, maybe this is too much work or um, what have you, please check out my store and be, I do sell duct tips. I do sell stilettos. Um, and I think that I have square still. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check, but um, definitely go check that out if you guys haven't already. Maybe there's some spangles or some glitter mixes or something else you might like. Um, but these tips are going to always be available for sale until further notice. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this. Sorry it's so long. I just wanted to make sure I covered all my bases with the tips. Um, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, as always, if you haven't done so already, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to you ladies next time. Bye.